Alright, so, compression test. When and why do you do a compression test? Short, the short answer for that is just because I have a misfire or I feel like I have lost power but I still have, but I still have a spark on both cylinders. So then you do a compression test. What I recommend doing, remove this front cover and you get access to the fuses. This fuse right here, I mean, uh, relays, sorry. The fuses and the relays. This relay right here is for the fuel system outside on the engine, meaning the, the, the one out here. The, the fuel pump out here or the one that's mounted on the, on the transom of the boat. Now this one controls the injectors, coils, and the all the system in here, sensors and whatnot. So I remove this and I only do this so I don't have spark and I don't get uh, fuel being injected into the cylinders. Um, you can pull this, the, the kill cord in the, the lanyard, you can pull that but you still will get the gas, the fuel being in the in, in the cylinders. And you really don't want that. You know, I mean, you don't want to waste it. And then when you start it for real and you get the spark, you're going to get this, you know, backfire or, you know what I mean. You notice that I don't have the top cover on this engine and it's not related this is just because it's one that I've been working on and, and I just don't have those top components but um, if you had all that stuff let's pretend that I did on this particular engine on an EFI engine what you want to do is just hold the throttle open you want to hold the throttle open well actually in both engines carburation carbureted and EFI. On the carbureted ones, uh, you can remove the, the, the carburetor and you don't have to hold that thing. While you, when you remove the carburetor, you probably, it's because you were cleaning it and whatnot, and then this test only takes a couple of seconds, so you can do it while you're cleaning the carburetor. Um, okay, like I said, you have the kill cord pulled you don't um, no gas going into the cylinders this you want to the tester you want to screw it into the spark plug hole and you don't want it tight you want you don't want to crank on it because you'll pinch that o-ring in there and then compression is going to escape so Keith is holding my uh, the throttle open get the compression right here the tester in here and then just crank it now some people say crank it two or three times for the cylinder to build the pressure I just crank it until that gauge doesn't move anymore. I got 145-ish, 146. That's, uh, the, now mind you, this is uh, completely stuck, 40 EFI. It has some hours in it. Okay, so we got 40, uh, 145 on that side. Now we are going to do the other side and you do want to do both sides obviously because you want to compare both sides. If you have 145 and 140 on this side, that's okay. If you have 145 and 110 on this, then there's something wrong. And you have to go to the next step, which would be a leak down test to know where the the compression is coming out of. Okay, it gets to the bottom and then just tighten a little bit. Release the pressure. Key is holding my throttle open. Would you look at that? 145. 
perfectly fine both of them on a stock 40 145 it's it's the uh, normal compression that's how they come out of the box but that's it that's that's all you do with the leak down test